Hey, what's up, family? Hey, to this video here, it's definitely gonna be a family video. We're gonna title this one. Let's see if we get the, the numbers right. Can I count right? <laughs> Secrets to long, healthy marriage. I think I got it right. Okay. Secrets to long, healthy marriage. Secrets to long, healthy marriage. Yes. What is the secrets to a long, healthy marriage? Now, we have touched on this subject in the past many years ago. Uh, this video right here, I think it's called, uh, this video here we did, it's called uh, When You Have the Right Mate or something like that. Yeah, Check out the video. Helpful. We did some very good mm -hmm. points on there. Very helpful points because, you know, we want to put out positive stuff. We know how it's too easy to do the negative stuff. We want to put out positive stuff, especially when it relates to relationships. So, like I said, secrets to a long, healthy marriage. What would you say some secrets? And the reason we're doing this, because we've heard this so many times, would you agree? People have said to us so many times, wow, you guys been married for 30 years. That's amazing. Wow, what is y'all secret? Like it's some big secret. There's no secret. Look, you know, know what the simple answer is? I mean, I got many. I'm going to put it in this video here. But know what the simple answer is? You got to do the work. You got to do the work. And most, most important, keep the spark on. Keep I the like spark. that. It's like almost like when when we're when together when we meet uh -huh. and when we both in the very beginning all, yeah the very beginning we're boyfriend and girlfriend and all that you got that you see that spark you see uh, two people loving each other and even the person on the other side say wow they 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 actually really love each other look yeah. how they show because mm -hmm. after they get married not the first t maybe two or three years. But then after that, mm -hmm. it starts dying down. Yeah. And it's like you don't have that same spark as before, as when you started getting married. And that's, I think that's one of the reasons why a marriage don't last long. That's a great point. She's right, because I've actually, unfortunately, spoken to way too many guys. They already broke up what seemed like a great relationship, and then years later, they're not together no more. And it's like, if you speak to the woman, you always hear the most common answer. He cheated. You speak to the one, the man, the man that may say something, a number of things like, nah, man, we just wasn't getting along. But one thing he don't say, she cheated. It's like women love to say he cheated. That's the reason. That's ridiculous. I'm not saying it's good for anyone to cheat, whatever. Be loyal. That's the whole point of a secret to a long, healthy marriage is you must be harmonious with one another. I didn't forget. We don't give a word of the day always. You know, why? We want to broaden your horizon with your vocabulary. What does harmoni harmonious mean? Think what it sounds like. Harmon, harmonious. It means joyful, coordinate, Peace. peaceful, Peace. friendly, cordial, you know, trusting, honesty. It means all of that. You know, so when you have a harmonious relationship, you know, you can coordinate with one another. You can talk. You could, you could even combat with one another and make differences. I don't always agree with you. You don't always agree yeah. with me. But together, we put our heads together and it's like, all right, this is what we need to do so it could be beneficial for both of us. See? Harmonious. Now, we coordinate. Yeah. Now, I just got to say, everybody out there, we're not expertise on relationships. Mm -hmm. But the reason why we have certain answers and we think that... We got 30 right years. It's because we... Yes. We got 30, 30 years 30 married. Years, but only because what we do it takes effect it is it, it's, it's working so we just wanted just to put it out there and give you a little bit of what is a possibility to save your relationship if you feel as if your relationship is crumbling sometimes uh, the relationship sometimes it it it's, it's uh has the opportunity to be saved but sometimes it doesn't but even for those that don't have the um the opportunity to save your marriage you know it's almost like going to a psychologist they psychiatrist psychiatrist i'm sorry <laughs> you actually able to sit down with them and they tell you well why don't you just do this do that in a positive yeah. way and that's what we we are doing yeah exactly yeah. now i like what she said earlier when she said you know don't lose the spark yes don't lose the spark i've known one too many guys where they say or women they say the same things they go oh man he don't do the things he used to do she don't do the things she used to do it's like they get comfortable. And when a person get comfortable yeah. in their relationship, they feel like, oh, I ain't got to do the stuff I used to do. I, I used to cook and clean and do this and that. And in the bedroom, we used to do all this and do that. Mm, I don't do that no more. I used to open the door for her. I don't do that no more. Yes, those you don't lose the spark. I mean, I've even joked with my wife. 
I don't, we don't lose a spark for example. What I mean, Joe, it's been plenty of times, you know what I'm talking about, where let's say we going or coming somewhere, right? My wife would go, you ain't gonna open the door for me? And I joke with her, I, of course I open the door for her, but I don't always do it. Follow her, and know what I tell her? I be like, you better get in before you get left. <laughs> Now, you know, I, I'm just joking. Hey. See, I make, I got to always make her laugh. I got to always let her know. Of course, I always do it, but not this time. But, what, <laughs> but another way hey. I would put it to that answer, secrets to a long-term relationship. Now, watch this. Now, I'm going to be a little unorthodox in this one. And that's how I like to do it with any and almost everything in my life. Rather, that's training my daughters or whatever it is. I, I love to do things a little different. Therefore, that's why I'm going to give you a little different answer that a lot of y'all not going to expect. My answer to secrets to a long, healthy marriage, watch this. You ain't ready for this one. You got to argue. Yes, you got to argue. Now, I'm not saying argue and bicker in a way where you really disrespecting each other. No. When I say argue, think about it. Even a young couple, when you first get together, it's all lovely. It's all peaceful. It's all great, right? But you really don't know that other person until you have the, your first argument. Because you know what? When you have your argument, you know what that's like, figuratively speaking? That's like a, a boxer where you take the gloves off. All right, now the gloves well, is off. the way you're putting it is, I would say, it's a need. Yeah, it's a need. Thank it's you. A, is, I like it's that. It's a need. It's a need because you see the real person. Right. Exactly. Yeah, and when you see the real person, mm -hmm. that's when, even when y'all make the best makeup sex, makeup love, y'all make, y'all have a great conversation about why y'all was arguing in the first place and why y'all had knew you had to fix it. Because it is a need, because you really need to see who that person really is. See, it's easy to put a cape on and put a front up all the time. But watch this. I'm going to answer it even, I'm going to go even deeper when I say, or oh, she corrected me, which was great. She, she was being harmonious. See, she was coordinating. That's why she came up with that. Now, <laughs> here's another reason I could prove to you why you need to argue. No, but, but before I get into it, I'm going to prove it to you. Watch this. I remember I spoke to a guy many years ago. He was going on and on about, because we were just talking about random stuff. And he was going, I met this guy in one of my stops. And he told me that him and his wife never argued. I said, what? No. Y'all don't never argue. No, that's such a, uh, that's, a, that's, such that's, a that's a front. That's, that's a, a lie. You tell me, I said, yo. I said, oh, y'all must have just been, just got together. He said, nah, man, we've been together for four years. We've been married now, going on four years. I said, oh, four years? I said, oh, man, y'all still fresh, though, man. That's wonderful. But I said, y'all going to argue? He said, nah, I'm telling you, I don't never argue with my wife. I said, I said, dude, if you don't argue with your wife, that's a problem. Because you, you need to, like I said, take the gloves off. You need to see who she really is. He said, no, nah, I, I never. I said, bruh, if you don't argue, you don't get to see who she really is. She don't get to see who you really She said, nah. he said, I'm not into that. I don't never argue. I said, what? Dude, you're going to have problems. I kept trying to make up, but I ain't going to force it on. But then he slipped up and told me, he slipped up and told me the lie that he was telling. Because then he said, I said, but yo, you only been married four years. You don't know yet. He said, no, nah, but even with my last wife. I said, your last wife? He said, yeah, I, you know, this is my third wife now. I said, so you're sitting here telling me you don't argue, but yet and still you can't seem to sustain a healthy marriage, which means y'all break up every time because there's problems there. You, you know, you married her for the wrong reason. She married you for the wrong reason, but there's problems there. And when you don't argue, it's going to be even bigger problem. Now, let's get on to my statement, what I said. I'm going to prove to you, anybody out there, claiming that they don't argue with their significant other, it's a major problem. Watch me prove it, watch this. Take our kids, for example. We love our kids, right? But how many times you told your kids, do not eat that food in the living room? And when you was not around, not only did they did eat in the living room and watch TV, they made a mess. Mm -hmm. And when you come back around, what do you gotta do? You gotta yell at them, you got to argue with them, you have to, you got to monitor them. You got to tell them what they did wrong. You got to get on their case. And they don't like it. How many times you told your teenage son or your teenage daughter not to do this or not to do this, not to take the car, and they took it anyway, wrecked it, whatever. We love our kids. But we had to get on their case because they did something wrong, right? That was arguing. But we love our kids. I don't care if you just got a dog or a cat in your house. Mm -hmm. One day your dog or your cat gonna cut your your, your, your shoes up. They're going to scratch the couch up. They're going to do something. They might even urinate on purpose or by mistake because they got a medical reason. But they're going to do something that's going to make you be like, you got to get on their case. But you love your dog and your cat. Just like you love you. Well, even more so, we love our kids. But we got to regulate them sometimes. Yeah. So when someone says, oh, I never argue with my 
my man, my wife, whatever. Trust me, they're not really into each other. Because if you're really into each other, you're going to argue. When you see someone going through conflict, you make it, you what? You be harmonious. It's like a person drowning, figuratively. Like, or literally, if a person was drowning and you do nothing to save them, that's that's like what I'm saying about the argument. When a person don't take the time to argue with you, they don't give a damn about you. Of course, because they don't want to spend their, their energy on somebody that I'm, I don't even want to be I like that, see, which hints back to the statement, yeah, so. if a person was drowning and you seen them drowning, you realize if I jump in this water with you, both of us could be in trouble. I'm going to have to spend that much more energy to save you and me. So they'll let you drown, a.k.a. argue. If they never take the time to argue with you, trust me and believe me. They don't give a damn about you. They just putting up with you. Because you're going to argue if you love somebody. Yeah, it was an intro it was a very interesting point that you made um the other day when we was talking about two people. Sometimes mm -hmm. a relationship they, they get married for the wrong reasons. Ooh, a lot of people, a lot a lot of a lot of men are get with this woman because she got a pretty face and a tight waist. But you don't even know her. You just got you just infatuated because you thought she was pretty. Or but go did, by the emotion. By emotion. But do you know anything about her? Because when you find out, she might be pretty, but sometimes they do the most ugliest of things. And then uh, a, a guy, I mean, a, a woman, a woman may get with this guy. Oh, because he got a nice car because I thought he was handsome. Whatever the case. But do you know him? Do you know him? How do he treat his sisters, his his mom, his grandmother? This how you're going to get to know him. Have you got to know him? If you, so you got with that guy, you got with that girl for all the wrong reasons. Now y'all get married. Y'all go even further and have a kid together and get married. And you're wondering why y'all got so many problems. No. So like I said, I'm being unorthodox. You have to argue. We argue with our kids, right? Didn't our parents argue with us? Because we gave our parents hell. We gave our parents problems. We did stuff that they told us don't do. And they yeah. had to get on our case ever since we was a kid. So anybody not saying that nonsense, we never argue. They not really into each other. It's clear as day. They really not in, they putting up with each other. That's what they're doing. See, my, my thing is that sometimes a relationship can be saved and sometimes they can't be saved. But for those um, that can't be saved, just try out the, so many different things and, and, and be able to, to go in and, and have the help that you need. Yeah. And when you do all of that, you say, you say to yourself, well, at least I tried because we have a child together. Because when your child grows up, when your children get older, you want them to have success in everything in life. Even and, including the relationship. And if you're giving a great example of what success is, a harmonious one with you and your wife, you and your husband, this lets them see what it's like. My mother and father had a great relationship. So I know what a great relationship looks like. Exactly. A lot of kids don't have that, unfortunately. Yeah. But when you show enough that true um, ideal of saving a relationship and making the right choices in life, your kids are going to grow up to have better choices in life or maybe your kids are going to uh, they decide to have to have other decisions that is going to fail but they're going to learn just like what you did yeah great so as we said seek title of the video secrets to a long healthy marriage because like i said earlier and i'll say it again how many times have we heard people say that to us man you guys seem like y'all got a great marriage y'all don't even seem like y'all argue we, we heard that so many times, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, do we argue? Of course we argue. You know why? Because I love my wife. My wife loves me. So, of course we argue. She got to get on my case about silly stuff I do and vice versa. So, mm -hmm. of course we argue. But one thing that we do not do is put our business all out there in public, all on the internet. Uh, my wife pissed me off this time, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or I'm at the doggone club or the sports, sports bar or wherever without her. And then Joe was like, hey, man, where your wife at? Nah, man, she was tripping, man. I went out by myself, man. Forget her, man. I'm doing my own thing. See, even though you're not telling the business, you are telling the business. Because it's like, man, lately I've been seeing, oh, boy, he's been out by himself, man. He said his wife be tripping. You out. You on the internet. See, people love to think mm -hmm. that the internet is their therapist. Yeah. So they put all the information out there. You know, my, my, my husband did this. My boyfriend did this. He get on my nerves. My girlfriend did this. My wife did this. She, I'm sick and tired of her. Man, blah, blah, blah. you know, this is what people need to do. No. The internet is not your social counselor. The internet is not your psychiatrist. Stop putting your business out there. Remember, the secrets to a long, healthy marriage is you have to have a harmonious relationship. Do we argue? Of course we do. Why? Because we are harmonious with one another. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we do have to correct each other. 
like I said, or like we said, we got how many years married now? 30. 30 years married. You think every single day was peachy creamy? No. We got our ups and downs, and then we laugh about it later. Mm -hmm. And we go, man, we was tripping, man. We was arguing over, man, this was stupid. And how many times have we did that? Over and over. Remember that episode on That's a Raven? Up and down, up and down, <laughs> up and down. That was funny. Yeah. But yeah, so in closing, got anything in closing? I'll let you go first. But before in closing, okay. I like I like another thing you had said uh, a, a while ago about the... Um, God, my mind is blank right now. No, oh, good. I'll help you out. Maybe as I keep talking, because we all get that. As we get older, we'd be like, y'all know what we're oh, talking no, about. No, okay. like, I don't no, forgot no, what I was going to no, say. No, I remember. I remember. Remember when we were 53 years old. <laughs> I look good. Okay. She does. But she remember does. Um, when you had said that in today's society, the man is asking for a date mm -hmm. because of one thing? Mm -hmm. I kind of. Because you know, all they want is, is um, sex. Oh, let, let me let me help out. Right, she talking about. I said, it's, I was just joking, right? I said, I said, oh. it's so funny how nowadays when a man asks a woman, "Can I take you out to dinner?" What he's really saying is, "Can I have some sex?" But you're not gonna come straight out and say that. So the but, way to yeah. ask for sex is, "Can I take you out to dinner?" <laughs> no, but I have to tell him. I come. Chris Rock say... talked about that. Remember, remember Chris yeah. Rock. He said, he said, when a man is being extra nice. Like, hey, let me carry those bags for you. What he really saying, can I get some sex? <laughs> hey, let me open that door. Can I get some sex? <laughs> see, the reason why you say that is because in today's society, it's, it's so much, the world has evolved so differently that mm -hmm. that's that's exactly what the first thing it is. But it's, yeah. that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. It's very, very minor when a man when a man and a woman, uh -huh. is, 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 is they meant what they say. Yes. Like if they just want a dinner and get uh -huh. to know someone, yeah. That's exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. Not because they want something else, but it's very, it's just like back in the days, our great great grandmothers and great great grandfathers, they would actually um, find um, interest in a woman or a woman find interest in a man. And that's that's exactly what it was. Now, here no, we go. We're being harmonious because no. I don't really agree with everything she's saying. No, no, watch I'm this. Saying. She said back, back, back in the days. Okay, let's go way back in the days. Remember Little House on the Prairie? Remember on Little House on the Prairie, Miss Beetle met the guy on Monday, and by Wednesday, they was proposing a marriage. Like, <laughs> way back in them days, that's how it was. You got married quick. It was like, what the heck? What the heck is going on? <laughs> yeah, but that's just TV. And, and, uh, but it was and like that for real. People yeah. got married quick way back then. But, and, and you know what? I got to say, they knew exactly what they wanted. That's another truth, it, it though. It was back then real men and real women mm -hmm. that back then. Let me keep, hey, keep going. So now it's just like, this. now it's just, now it's a thing about a thing, a fling. But the thing is that it's rare. It's rare when you find what great-great-grandmothers and great-great-grandfathers used to be. You still could find them. You haven't lost. It has. It's not lost. Mm -hmm. It said it's so much how the world is with yeah. the internet and all that. Not that, I agree, that, 100%. That's, that's how it makes People it People are heavily influenced by negative nonsense. Mm -hmm. That's why I love it in the beginning of this video. We said we're going to put some positive energy out there exactly. like we love to do. Mm -hmm. Because to do, the, to do the negative energy, that's too easy. It takes skill and to be harmonious. Remember, the word harmonious. Peaceful, friendly, coordinate, joyful. It, it takes skill to be a harmonious person. To be a negative person and put negative stuff out, that's too easy. That's a sucker move right there. But in closing, what I would say, secrets to a long, healthy marriage, you do. It is a must that you be harmonious with one another. Remember, what harmonious mean? Coordinate. I don't agree with everything she say. She don't agree with everything I say. But together we coordinate and we we come to common ground that works for both of us. We do it joyfully. We do it peacefully. We do it friendly. We do it amicably. That's what harmonious means. And yes, my unorthodox thing to a secret to a long, healthy marriage, you have to argue. Why? Because you really get to know what that person really is like. Take, figuratively speaking, just take the gloves off. Let's see who you really are. How many times you argue with someone, and then when the, when y'all peaceful now, after the argument, oh, you go, yeah, but you said this, so you must mean that. You know, you said yeah, that, and it's like now hurt. you gotta explain yeah. yourself why did you mm -hmm. say this. Words but now, they, yeah, they now they know how you really feel. So yo, really be harmonious with one another, and then you, more stuff could come out, and y'all could really coordinate more, and talk. But when people say that to us, man, you guys look like y'all never argued, man. That's 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 foolish.
Because when we do argue, that's our business. It's in our house. Now, I don't care if we're being loud in our house. We still in our house. You can assume all you want if you just happen to be walking by or if we in a car. If you just happen to be walking by, you can assume all you want. They are. Yeah. But you don't know what we arguing about and how intense the argument is. And we still keeping it private. And you know what? On top of that, you can always do this. Don't be so quick to get up and leave. I like to say, that. I don't want no, no more of this relationship. The reason why I say that is because the, the times that you have been with your spouse or with anyone that you, you truly, truly do love, you could also sit down and write a, in a piece of paper the negatives and the positives. Oh, the 80 20 rule? <laughs> yes. This man, like this man right here, <laughs> he has a lot of qualities that a woman would love. And I couldn't you trying let to that, sell me? And I couldn't let that go. Trying to put go. me out there in the market? <laughs> I this day and age ain't happening. No, I, I, I couldn't possibly let it go. And I I believe that I put so much timing into this man, just like he put so much timing into me, that is, you can't possibly just get up and leave and say, start I'm going to everything and start over. It's the same issues that you're going to mind ha you have with, that relationship, with this relationship, you're going to have it with the same other person. Yep. You have to really think about what, how you come about things. You that's see, that's like the say, old idiom that says, mm -hmm. oh, you think the grass is... Green on the other side. You're going to find out the hard way. The grass is just the same over there. The problem is you got to work it. What I said earlier, you got to do the homework. Mm -hmm. You got to put in the work. Stop thinking the grass green over there. No, when you go over there, you have the same problems, and then you're going to realize you got to put in the work. Yeah. So remember, when a person has so much qual a positive quality, don't let that don't let that go. Don't let it easily go. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to get away for a couple of hours and rethink things. I like and that. Then when you come back, you can sit down and just talk. And be harmonious. And be harmonious. Co coordinate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she right. I love that. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have to talk. You don't just get up and say, ah, this happened. I'm sick. I'm out. No, yeah, that's, I love that. Yeah, because the people, they quit too easily. They People quit their jobs and get another job, and then something go bad, they go to another job, go to another job. They're not stable. And that's how they are in relationships. It's like things don't go their way at that moment. Ah, I'm sick. I'm done. He cheated. Well, she did this. I'm done. No, work it out. Or, or was you never really into that person in the first place? But one thing for sure, you do it harmonious. If you're really into that person, you know, I got to put in the work. Yeah. And some people say, well, you say all that because it's, it's easier said than done. No, you can possibly, if you, if you feel as if, oh, I'm just going to drop everything. It's because you got to show yourself that, that you are weak. Mm -hmm. But you got to say to yourself, no, I'm not weak. Mm -hmm. I'm a fighter and I'm go. strong. Yeah. So I'm going to work this out because it is worth it. And, I, and so, even though we did in closing, what I'll add on top of in closing for both of us, another reason we're saying this, as we said earlier, we have 30 years married. 30 successful years married. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we speaking from experience and knowledge. So, that's why we putting this positive information out there for y'all. Love right? you. Thank you. Peace.